It's time for some hoops at Little Caesars Arena, home of the Pistons. And we're going to bring it to you live on 2K Sports. And here it comes, the NBA on 2K Sports. Along with Steve Smith and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And our friend on the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge, we'll be hearing from That's shortly. Good. Griffin with it. Now guarded by Gallinari. And Griffin scores. The assist by Johnson. How about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second-chance points. Outside Brent. Takes a three. A second-chance effort. And Jordan with the layup. Jordan's got five now. Defensively, you cause the miss, but then you have to corral it. You know, there's nothing more frustrating than that. Giving up points on a possession, you won. Kennard's shot is off. Yeah, and they're just hitting 20% of their shots. That's a rough, rough, rough start to this game. You know, Stephen, I think of Stan Van Gundy, I think of Versity, because we all know he's the head coach of the Detroit Pistons, but he's in charge of all their personnel moves, too. This guy's got a lot on his plate. Yeah, he does. I mean, when you start to look at it, he's wearing two hats. Uh, and one thing, he's doing a good job trying to run this organization from a management standpoint and also from a culture standpoint. So far, so good for Stan. And where's the help? Obviously, a missed rotation. Something they're going to want to patch up. Only the first quarter. Guys are getting in the groove, but communication on the defense has to be better. Here's Harris. Fouled in the act of shooting a three-point other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. And the slam by Blake Griffin. My goodness, he is such a great dunker. Greg, a high riser, no doubt about it. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. And finished off by Griffin. That is not possible. What we just... <laughs> is that possible? Uh, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like possible, <laughs> like you said. He can be masterful in there, especially when there's no rim protection. And watch out, you don't... I think with, it would have been a treat to play alongside of LeBron James. Uh, uh, I yeah. think against... I think right now I'd have loved to see uh, playing up against a guy like Giannis and Christoph Porzingis, just the different ways these guys affect the game and their size. Uh, there's so many guys, and we'd love to get a chance to just be in front in Marvel. And it's Johnson in for going on. Now here's Griffin. He's got 11. Yet another bucket in close. That's how he's earning his points today. Johnson kicks to Jordan. The kick out to Williams. Jordan the screen. Williams, that's good. Williams has got his first two points. And defensively, you've got to make a greater effort working over the screens. Yeah, he could have made a better choice. He left him an easy one. He wanted to get his team the lead, and even though he didn't, he should feel good. At least he tied it up. The train. And Rivers with the basket on the assist by Williams. Rivers has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Griffin's shot is good. Well, early on, neither team put much emphasis on the defensive side. No doubt. The offensive game plan on both sides has been effective early on. Here's Thornwell. Here's Rivers. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. And he's really been working to get those looks. And it's starting to pay off here early on. And here's Jackson. Wyatt so far offensively searching for his first points of the game. The feet to Johnson. Puts it up from 12. A good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. The Clippers on top. 
different team makeup now for the Clippers. Hard to replace a player like Chris Paul. We'll see what this new look roster can do. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court for the Pistons. They've got Griffin. Jackson is out there with Kennard. Then there's Andre Drummond. And it's Johnson in a, the small forward. And it's blocked. And stolen by Drummond. Here's Griffin. Oh! <laughs> and talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Williams passes to Johnson. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Pistons have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. And Griffin slams it in. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he goes back up. And there's the nice layup by Griffin. Griffin's got six here in this quarter. And he has his fingerprints all over this first half. He is just shooting it so efficiently. That one drops for him. The mid-range game is becoming more of a lost art, but not for this guy. Back to Johnson. Expanding his range. The Pistons rebound. Griffin with it. Picked up by Harris. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Los Angeles making a switch here. Jordan's checked in. Now Beverly. He has six. And slam dunk by Jordan. And putting in the work on the boards, and it's paying off with chances like that. And Gia, he does put in the work. You're right. It's why he's on the finishing end of one putback son. I didn't like that either, but I think cross country really helped me with basketball. But I can see where a lot of other sports could help with footwork and hand-eye coordination and right on down the line. Yeah, I, I, soccer, I think, is number one. I watched Tony Parker, the way his movement, playing soccer. My son right now is playing soccer. Akeem Olajuwon, I think that's the sport that coincides the best with basketball. I would agree. Pass to Kanan. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Harris. It's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't gotten one to fall in the court. Pistons trailed by seven. Here's Kennard, guarded by Brett. From past the arc, the shot's good from Kennard. Kennard's got himself on the board with three there. I mean, just a good shooter taking what the defense allows. Find some space out beyond the arc. And Beverly kicks to Bradley. He doesn't hit that one. And this is one of those times where the coach has got to preach, be unselfish. And we don't know that he hasn't. Maybe it's been through this team doesn't foul or give up the ball easily. Minimal turnovers per possession, second in the lead. They close out well and they rebound well. Both sides of a team that has the fundamentals down. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Patrick Beverly out there with Bradley. Then it's Jordan. Then there's Gallinari. And it's Harris in at the four. Six on the shot clock. Beverly dishes to Harris. And there's the call on DeAndre Jordan. Bradley kicks to Harris. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Harris has got five. And that's how you want to come out of the locker room. He is fired up. Yes, in the first minute or so, you knock down a couple of shots. You are in rhythm. The Clippers in the lead. And it's Bradley off the drive. And slam dunk by Harris. And that's how it's done. I mean, find that hole in the D and then go hard to the right. Maybe that hole was a little bigger than it should have been. It looked like a total breakdown to me there. He exploited that hole perfectly and made them pay. Here's Johnson. 
you know, coming out of the half, you want to set the tone for the rest of the game. But going one for four is the wrong way to do it. And he's just going all out to get the second chance points. Just a terrific finish. There was no one that was going to prevent MGA from converting that one. He was one of the best offensive rebounders in the league, and he demonstrated why right there. And that's three out of four now coming out of the break. The offense playing with a purpose. And there's the call on Patrick Beverly. Fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Harris. Good. And a nice assist for Williams. Harris has got eight here in the quarter. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Here's Johnson. The shot comes out. And it's the Clippers taking it the other way. Feeds it to Rivers. One twenty-five left in the third. The lead pushed to double digits. And now it's a 10-point Clipper lead. It's fine to extend. Pass to Kennard. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Johnson from outside. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. The kick out to Williams. Johnson the screen. Jordan the pass to Rivers. And Stanley Johnson is going to pick up the foul. Jackson again. It's Rivers. Jackson passes to Johnson. Not really his range, and it's off target. Here's Thornwell, and it is good at the buzzer. Wow! And they get it to double digits. And so it's the lock. They've got Jackson. Johnson is out there with Griffin. Then there's Andre Drummond, and it's Kennard in the two spot. That's the group for Detroit right now. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Kennard's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Pistons. Outside Griffin. That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. 24 points for Blake Griffin. Williams dishes to Rivers. Here's the screen. Back to Williams. Six to shoot. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. And the Clippers lead by eight. And, well, Detroit shooting well. Third, 45%. And so the ball out of bounds. Jordan touched it left. And how about the reaction time on D there? Almost comes up with the pick. You know, these are the little plays that can add up when you look over the course of a game. Bradley's checked in for the Clippers. Patrick Everly comes in for Rivers. Now we can say it. He's a completely different shooter this half. Much more confidence, much more success. Here's Harris. Back to Beverly. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go. Change here. Gallinari's checked in. Outside for Griffin. Here's Jackson. There's the pass to Kennard. They grab their own miss. Outside Griffin. Let's it go from deep. On the wing, Jackson. Trains it from beyond the arc. Jackson's got 10 points here in the second half. And the rebounding of the Pistons, something that is very hard to deal with. The franchise has always put defensive effort at the forefront of what they want to do. Yeah, when you think of all the successful teams in Detroit history, they all play not just defense, tough defense. This group has work to do, but they are on their way. I wouldn't be surprised if this group can be at the top of the NBA in the charts as far as defense. And there's the call on us. Pistons trailed by six. Here's Griffin, and the slam by Blake Griffin. And he just powered that one. One of the game's top dunkers. Kicks it to Gallinari. And again, no good by the Clippers. Griffin, that's him. And 
fouled as he threw it in the final quarter so far. Yes, to Kennard. And again, it's the Pistons missing. And I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. Yeah, smart move. For three, Williams. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. And the Clippers lead by six. Pop. They needed more from him there. Any point they can get is absolutely critical for them right now. The kick out to Williams. Back to Gallinari. They get it back to the left wing. Now here's Beverly. And Stanley Johnson is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, no way that should have taken so long. They don't have that much time to waste. They need to foul immediately. 